there's a heavy emphasis on being considerate of other people's feelings. Especially in 2023, even at the expense of our own needs or desires. And it's partially due to the fear of being ostracized, criticized, rejected by others. These are the things that kind of go through our minds why we don't speak up about certain things. But I need you to recognize that the power of speaking your truth should not be underestimated. It should not be compromised and you should not hold your tongue because by doing so, you now compromise yourself. You allow yourself to become the victim in some of these scenarios. Right, where someone has some truth to tell you, but they would rather tell you the lie that you have to now live with when you could have known the truth that could have changed your life possibly or gave you peace. Okay, let's talk about why this fear exists in the first place. Now, pardon me, I gotta pace myself just because of um, my situation. My breathing is very challenging. But let's talk about why the fear exists in the first place. Right? You can't ignore social media. Because of it, it's easier than ever for others to express their opinions and feelings about you and everything else that's on the planet. It can also lead to fear of being publicly shamed, humiliated, criticized, Right? Especially if your actions or words are deemed offensive or insensitive to other people. And sometimes even by other people. Right? We also went through the cancel culture, which became more prevalent in recent years. A lot of people face severe consequences for expressing their views or opinions that were deemed you know, unacceptable by, by the majority of that cancel culture, that is. Right? This fear can also lead to self-censorship. That's when you, know, you hesitate to express your feelings fully because of the fear of being canceled or ostracized by a group, any particular group. It could be your peers. And this is a part of the challenge. There's a lack of empathy in our society with people moving quickly to judge, right? We criticize without any consideration of the impact that our words or actions may have. We just jump right into it. No one wants to be on the receiving end of this lack of empathy because it's hurtful and it's isolating. And as human beings, we're not built to be isolated. We're supposed to be in the community setting. That's when we thrive. Okay? But unfortunately, we all have a basic need for acceptance and belonging. This desire sometimes leads to a fear of being rejected or excluded by those we want to be around or belong with. So, the pros and cons are pretty clear. There are benefits if you're accepted. And there are consequences when you are not accepted. You have to decide which one you're really interested in, which one are you willing to sacrifice, and then make your leap. Now, why is it important? And why am I spending so much time on the importance of speaking up and expressing your, opinion, your opinions. Well, the simple reason, it matters. When you speak your truth, you're taking a stand for what you believe in. And you're setting an example for others to follow your lead. It's critical, right? Also, I mean, it's crucial for you as an individual, 
for personal growth and your development. Now, if that's not enough and you need more, by all means, strive for more. But your voice matters, and I think you need to know that. We all need to know that. Because oftentimes you hear people say, oh, it doesn't matter what I think, it doesn't matter what I say. It matters. If you have something important to say, say it. Now, if you don't have anything important to contribute to the evolution or the betterment of the situation, then I would recommend don't say it. If it's a criticism, you can say it. Crit critique is always good. It's always welcome if it's, if it's constructive. But if it's destructive, then I would say, no, thank you. Okay? Nobody wants to be a part of a team that's just breaking things down. That's not what it's about. We're about building over here in this community of ours. Okay? Now, besides the obvious that it's good for your personal growth and your development, it's also good for positive social and political change. This can be particularly empowering in a situation where your voice has been suppressed or dismissed in the past. Right? So speaking up and expressing your opinions can not only boost your self-confidence because it allows you to assert yourself and stand up for what your beliefs are, but it can also lead to greater personal empowerment, right? And a stronger sense of self-worth and values. And when you express your opinions, you provide others with the insight into your thoughts, your feelings, which can also lead to deeper and more meaningful relationships. It builds trust and understanding between you and those that you're communicating with. You can learn more about yourself by speaking your truth. You learn more about your values, right? You develop new skills, such as critical thinking, Effective communication simply by sharing your thoughts more often because now other people can kind of challenge and have a debate with you, a healthy debate where you can put your beliefs and your ideas into action and see if they actually match up to what you thought. Right? Express your thoughts. Express your opinions. Right? It's important what you're doing is bringing about positive change in the society that you're a part of. Not negative, positive change. You're raising awareness, you're advocating for important causes, and you can also help make a difference and evoke change in the world, not just your, your community anymore. It just takes one. Right? So when you speak up and express your opinions in a thoughtful and respectful manner, Others are more likely to view you as an intelligent and confident person. Just imagine that. Just imagine what this can lead to. The level of respect that you're going to gain. The admiration from those around you. Right? And the energy that you give off. They're going to want to be around you for longer periods of time. I think we need to be aware that when you speak your truth, it's also important to you because your self-respect and self-worth is sustained. People can expect a certain level of articulation, thought process, thought evocation coming from you when you open your mouth that you care how you present yourself, that you care what you have to say. You want people to pay attention to the words that come out of your mouth, not just the way you carry yourself. When you keep quiet and don't speak up, we may feel like, you know, you're hiding something or you're not being authentic. And over time, that idea about you can erode and if you feel that way about yourself, guess what? Your confidence also erodes. Your self-esteem erodes. And that's just going to lead to feelings of more frustration and resentment. 
not just for yourself, but from others as well, right? There are times when speaking your truth can cause discomfort. And there are times when it's going to hurt other people's feelings. But this is natural. It's expected. It's, it's a huge component of difficult conversations. But it's important. It's important to remember that your truth is just that. It's yours. And you have the right to express it, even if others may not agree with it. Now, if the intent behind your truth is to hurt other people, then I, I can't ride with you. I cannot ride with you. If it's to help or enlighten other people, I'm with you. It's, it's, it's very important to approach these conversations with empathy and clear understanding. Because when you speak your truth in a calm, respectful manner, you can actually minimize the potential for conflict and actually help others understand where you're coming from. And that's what's important. Now I want to leave you with this. Speaking your truth is a powerful tool for personal growth and self-expression. You've heard me say that throughout this entire piece. By speaking up and expressing your opinions, you're not only setting an example for others, but you're also maintaining your self-respect and self-worth. So don't be afraid to use your voice. It's literally the time now to start speaking your truth. Not tomorrow. I want to thank you for tuning in. This is a short one. And um, until next episode, I want to make sure if you guys can, you know, hit the like, subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate your support. And make sure you tune in for the 100th episode. It's going to be a special one. It's going to be a, a heartfelt one, but it's going to be a special one. And um, I think you guys will appreciate it. If you're on Substack, please look for Insights Magazine on Substack and subscribe there. For those of you who are interested in getting and becoming a part of the newsletter, um, just hit me up on the email that's provided right through the show and um, I'll be able to get you connected. OK, uh, if you can't get the email, just hit me up in the comments through whatever platform you're listening to the show on. Ideally, if you can get on Podbean, it'd make it much easier. But if you find me on IG, hit me on IG, send me a message. I'm interested in getting on the newsletter. I appreciate your support there. And um, yeah, we'll connect. We'll stay connected. Until next episode, love, peace, and happiness. <laughs>